I tried to maximize my chances and apply to 30 odd universities out of which I got in to 15 or 16 and wow. I did financially like I received full ride scholarship from three out of three of them and uh, around 70 to 80 percent scholarship from the rest. From the so, rest. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have a very special guest whose name is Ono Mitro, who's a student from India and he's received full ride scholarships from three universities to study in the US. Uh, out of these three universities, he picked Drexel University where he received the Drexel Global Scholars Award, which is a full tuition scholarship. And he also received financial aid from Drexel to help out with other costs. So if you're applying to college in the US and if you require financial aid, I think this video is gonna be very helpful for you. Before we move on to the actual interview, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. Uh, thank you for having me over here, Akshay. So I am a freshman at Drexel. I started Drexel this fall and I am a computer science major. Um, that's my <laughs> introduction. introduction. Okay, so uh, today we have with us Ono Mitro, who is uh, a first year student at Drexel, who's received a full scholarship to study at Drexel which is uh, amazing. So uh, let's start by talking about like why you decided to study in the US and which all universities did you apply to? Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of story kind of thing. Uh, I first came to US and when I was in class eight, uh, it, was a, it was at Kennedy Space Center. There was a uh, astronaut training experience kind of thing. Like the entire process, how the astronauts go through before going through their maiden flight. So, so it was sponsored by my school and over there I was stored at, uh, at MIT and Harvard, like the campus tour. So I was pretty excited about studying, uh, studying in US. So that is when I fixed my goal of studying abroad after I graduated from my high school. And for application to school, colleges, I applied to around 30 universities because I needed a financial aid and getting financial aid in US can be pretty tough. And it, it is extremely competitive if, if you are an Indian because there's thousands of thousands of students who are applying for financial aid and there are people who, who are willing to pay for your spot. So I, I tried to maximize my chances and apply to 30 odd universities out of which I got in to 15 or 16. And wow. I financially, like I received full ride scholarship from three out of three of them. and. Uh, around 70 to 80 percent scholarship from the rest. From the so, rest. Yeah, uh, I got into Grinnell University of Rochester and Depot University as well as uh, I chose Drexel because of the co-op and the package that they gave me. Like the Drexel Global Scholarship is the most prestigious scholarship of Drexel, and they also provide you with the living expenses, the uh, tuition, as well as the health insurance. So everything is covered. Yeah, that's actually very amazing. Um, so which which other schools did you get full rides in? I got full rides from almost like I from University of New Hampshire, I got a full ride and from University of Rochester, I got 50,000 in financial aid and at Depot, I got a close to full ride. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that's scholarship in Deepa, like yeah, if anyone is willing to apply to uh, liberal arts colleges and need a financial aid, Deepa can be a great option. Okay, so that, that's a good point to look out for, like liberal arts colleges are very good with their financial aid. But sometimes like coming from India, we don't know that much about these liberal arts colleges. So are you yeah, just, out, of, out of 30 colleges that I applied to, 17 or 18 were liberal arts colleges. Wow, that's, that's very great. And uh, what was your high school experience like? Like, what extracurriculars did you do? I wasn't a high achieving student in high school. Like, I had a 80 to a 90. Like, in 12th, I had a 88 percent in aggregate. Like, that's not not even considered as a top of top grade or something. But I was an average student overall. Uh, in SAT, I if well, if uh, if my two scores are combined so the combined score was 1520 but individually i got th uh, 1350 okay wow so wait, individually you got if your two scores were combined you got 1520 1520 that's a, that's yeah that's a good score but that i mean so your extracurriculars were what made you stand out yeah it was my extracurricular that was my selling point to be honest at the, at the universities my extracurriculars are like 
I started in class eight or uh, eight. Uh, I interned at a uh, in S uh, Space Kids India. That's a corporation based in Chennai. Uh, it was a kind of get just getting into the sp uh, satellite and sa space communication. It was a pretty basic thing. But I stayed over there for two years. I stayed over there and I made some connections. Uh, I had I made some very good friends as. Uh, the summer terms I used to spend in the summer vacation. I used to spend in Chennai, learning about different kinds of communication that are used by satellites. And I, I was more sort of a astro 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 kind of guy. But after that, I shifted to computer science because I I realized that even if even if you are trying to get into the satellite kind of thing, then then also you need a computer science background because everything is now the backbone of everything now is computer science. Yeah. Uh, my extracurricular, I, I diverted from the extracurricular thing. I'm sorry. So uh, uh, in extracurricular, uh, after, after interning in Space Kids India, I made some connections and I went out and started my own startup. So it was in class, after class 10, I started my own startup. It's known as MaxQ India. So first it was me and my friend, uh, his name is Rick. We both started with workshops. Uh, we conducted workshops in 30, 36 uh, schools and eight countries. So within two years, we were pretty popular among the school in the, in, in the school circuit in India, as well as abroad. Like we conducted workshops in Oman, the Saudi Arabia, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal. So after that, uh, we approached colleges. Uh, we are we are in collaboration with PhD College of Engineering. That's a reputed college in Tamil Nadu, as well as IIT Madras. Uh, so we are developing a, a Pico satellite that is supposed to that was supposed to launch in 21, but due to COVID, it has been postponed to 2022. So that's my extracurriculars. As well as I, I also have a school uh, that is actually not my school. My, uh, I work on, I used to work under a mentor. His name is Mohammad Nadir Shah and it is his school, but uh, I teach most of the courses over there uh, regarding robotics and people who are interested in trying out computer, other aspects of computer science, space technology and other stuff. Wow, that's amazing. And so the the space, the workshops that you gave were on like astrophysics and like space and and they were over Zoom or did you actually get to go and visit these countries? I actually went there. Wow, that's, yeah. So when, from like when you were 6, 15, 16, you were going to all these countries and giving workshops? Yeah. And, and they were, I'm assuming they paid for the travel and everything, yeah. Okay, and uh, I saw that you did research too. Yeah, I research at IIT Madras for a for a sem for like for a quarter uh, around one month or so. This was for the same the Pico satellite. Exactly. Oh, Pico satellite. Yeah. And how did you did you just approach the a professor or how did you like go about? Uh, actually, the and I approached PhD College of Engineering because I had contacts. So like uh, I built the network before starting my which startup. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we started with uh, PhD College of Engineering, but the project that PhD was doing, it was in collaboration with IIT Madras. So eventually I, sh uh, I had to spend a, a month researching in IIT Madras yeah. over there. Wow, that's a great story. I mean, you're doing all these things at 15, 16, at like whatever age makes me think that I'm not doing enough. <laughs> uh, so um, what was the application process that you went through for the global scholars program and like the timeline and yeah the timeline uh, I, i'll say that drexel's global scholars timeline is much more relaxed because the deadline extends up to first february I, I, as i remember so after you are completed with the regular decision and if most of the college applications that is by first january or 15 january at the latest so you have quite some time to work on the Drexel Global Scholar application. So it is an 850 word essay that you'll have to show the admission officers that you are, ca you are a capable leader and you can, you can stand among the crowd. So your mind was how I started my startup and everything and what my, the main fundamental I, on which I based my essay was my support, my advocate, I, that I advocate for the right to education that everyone deserves the right to a, just, uh, a basic education. So 
the how my parents sacrificed a lot to provide me with every opportunity they could they they couldn't so it, it was the base base of my essay like i can link my essay in your video to uh, under the link i because I, well, I have yeah Yeah, I can. Yeah. At DTS, so he said I can share it. Yeah, and so this was. I mean, I'm sure in the essay you must have spoken about your experiences with Max with Max Q. Okay. And uh, for any students that want to study in the US and get a scholarship like you did, any advice for them? Advice for them is uh, apply to as many co- like most of the students that they, the mistakes that they do is apply to twenty colleges. Like there's a coalition app as well as a common app. Common app has a limit of twenty, but uh, through coalition you can apply to up to thirty. Th- I I know friends who have applied to thirty five, thirty eight universities. So when you're looking for scholarships, apply to as many universities as you can to maximize the op- number of opportunities. Because when you are applying from India. there's a there are tons of competition and there comp- and after that there's competition from around the countries so it's it becomes extremely competitive and from the university's perspective also uh, they have extremely limited options com- uh, considering full right i as much as, as i remember while doing research I, it, ha- it us has like 15 odd full scholarship opportunities and they take in around 10 to 11 students each so 55 students are it's extremely limited number yeah so it's like go for colleges that offer the financial aid if you need it and um you said that uh, you applied to these many, like i don't know you could use the coalition app and apply to those many so but um, when you applied to these did you like ask for fee waivers or did you or yeah i i i as much as i remember i spent like 100 dollars or 110 or 12 dollars to apply to 30 universities so ah. what most yeah, what most of the students do is go straight in pay 50 dollars or 60 dollars and they're done like that yeah. that's the, like if you have money go for that like if you don't uh, there's an option to uh, select a fee waiver and ask your counselor to select that too so we most of the cases the universities will waive off the application fees but there are universities like uni- Arizona State University that do not waive off the fees so you'll have to pay 50 or 60 dollars for okay. that for some of them considering uh, the sending scores uh, most of the universities you can download the sat score report or toefl score report and email it to them saying that it will be a financial like it will be a fi- financial burden for you to send to, to spend 13 dollars to send the score yeah so you can actually email them and ask them if they're fine with you sending them the 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 pdf basically of the score and this then some of them did say yes to that yeah most of them yeah. said Like, most of them said yeah well, like one or university that was trinity college that didn't accept the emailed one yeah but that yeah so yeah. it's worth at least it's worth emailing and how did you find out all this works is they didn't accept the emailed one but they gave me a fee waiver for the for sending the sat score so i saved up on that too. oh so, so they they basically reimbursed you for sending the the score okay These are many things that I mean you're not going to find online which is I mean how did you find out about all of these things like just uh, researching and you you'll find everything online but you'll have to spend time I took a gap year after 12th and I spent a lot on the application process like learning about how, why universities choose these students and how how many op- like if you go to a counselor like I spent before 12 I went to Jamboree and I spent like 30000 to get a counseling but as like they didn't provide me with any scholarship or financial aid opportunities what they gave me is a 15 college list and asked me to apply out of them was they gave me georgia tech which was way above my budget like with georgia tech cost 1.5 crores uh, you have to do everything alone if you are going to st- study in us so it's better to start with the application process uh, your mic is muted i guess Yeah, there's someone m- making some noise outside, so I mute. <laughs> yeah. So I think that was it, and thank you very much for taking the time to do this and share your experience. Yeah. And the uh, essay thing with you. Essay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So I'll put that in the description. Thank you, Anamitra. <laughs>